you're still watching ways now a challenged world is an alert world and from challenge comes change so let's all choose to change how will you help forge a gender equal world that's our question celebrate women's achievement raise awareness against bias take action for equality as we celebrate women the world over um, what are the concerns you are choosing to challenge today on the International Women's Day? I mean, like we rightly said, today is all about us, you know. Pardon us, the men. Whether you like it or not. <laughs> we don't do this so often. We try to keep a balanced conversation. But, I mean, if they say we have 50% representation on, in terms of population, right? I mean, I think it's perhaps it's only over fair. 50%. Right? No, someone said to me today that we have <laughs> Women's Day. We have Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. He said, soon we're Wife's going to take Day. over the whole year. And I said, if we did, it still wouldn't be enough. <laughs> yeah. Have you been through nine months of pregnancy? Ten, actually. Oh, come on. Weeks. Don't play that card. Come no. On. Uh, do, do, uh, don't, don't play that Sanzi, card. My life changed. I, I, have never, I have never been pregnant. But Spoke, I, don't think I was just going to say, spoken like somebody no, wait, who Hold on. Hold pregnant. on. I have never been pregnant. And I know it's, well, I hear it is a lot of work. But please, don't play that card. It is hard let me tell you to something. be a man as well let me i'm not a man but i know something. it's hard let me explain something men yeah. appreciate you more when they watch you go through what a woman goes through in a delivery room so even they themselves they know they can't deny it that I'm it's not, a lot of so it takes sandy. a lot of strength i'm not so sandy that. it's not even a he versus she thing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they're both realities it's not easy to be a man but it's exactly. way harder to be a woman <laughs> That's all no, I'm saying. it's not like that. Yeah. Right, so, um, um, back to what you chose to challenge. Why did you choose to challenge, you know, um, growth? growth yeah. Um, because I was going through a phase in my life where I, I just I felt like I was stuck, and I mean I was I'm, I'm always asking questions, and I'm 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 emotional and I'm logical. Like when I'm attached to you, I use my emotional time, emotional side to reason. When I'm not attached to you, I'm always like very logical. So I would ask questions and people are giving me answers that I really don't understand. And for a long time, I was there basking in my emotional self, like oh, wallowing in myself and all whatnot. And then eventually I just figured, you know what, it's about time I started asking questions and perhaps going to Google and just find a way up, you know. And grow up. Out, out of the pit. Yeah, pretty much grow up. That's mm -hmm. why I'm so excited for my new age. I'm like, oh my goodness. I'm there, like I'm a woman right now, you guys. I'm not even joking. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But anyway, it's um, yeah. there's just this freedom I feel when I know that like I can take my choices, and also as a Jesus baby that I am, I'm also gl uh, growing closer to God. So um, it's, I mean, I have a long tale of growth on different aspects of my life that I may not want to share on camera right now, but um, I'm just grateful. Um, for coming out of stagnancy and seeing progress in my life. Yeah. Mm, fantastic. So how about you, Uti? What is your... <laughs> who you... Who, so why did you choose to challenge stereotype? And you also chose to challenge um, something on leadership. Leadership. Yeah, the one so, you posted, yeah. So for me, I'm, I mean, I think I've talked about stereotypes already, mm. um, but the gap that still exists today in leadership is huge absolutely absolutely huge you know the numbers that we see if you look everywhere fortune 500 companies you know the gap is just huge so it, it means that when you know women make it to the top mm. they stand out you know they're there but in reality if we got this right it would be the norm there would be you know not even necessarily 50 50 because again i'm not just about parity i'm also about meritocracy mm. but right now the gap that we have in terms of that leadership gap and it's showing because we can see women in leadership roles doing fantastic things i mean i can use new zealand as an example in how they've handled covid on well, we are under coming to all of that leader. let me but, let me let me let me help you understand Uti. so i saw a post on linkedin mm -hmm. i mean for the first time i felt so proud that yeah. i am honored to know this woman you know um Uti just changed jobs oh and she's moved gosh. to a different company so Maybe one of her English. staff <laughs> her subordinate wrote something and i thought it i thought for a minute it was so profound you know and this is just uti 
Yeah. Now imagine how many Utis there are, how many Sansis, yeah. how many Uwa they have. We have all over the world. You know, he says the phrase 99 is not 100, is one I will never forget in a very long time, right? He says, Uti Gabriela Elu, I wish you success as you navigate new tides. So he now broke down how Uti was explaining. So at first when he said, when she said 99% is not 100, mm -hmm. you know, he thought she was, who is this person that is coming for a perfectionist? The person is trying to look for this thing, a perfect, you know. You know, but no, what her message was to him over the years as he worked with her, mm -hmm. as his, um, her subordinate, he learned that there will always be room you know, for improvement, mm -hmm. right? Right. So right. if you keep on telling yourself that, yes, I might be excellent at this, but there's that 1% room for improvement. Absolutely. Tell me how this world will not be a better place. Yep. Mm. So I thought that was very, very brilliant, you know, that's why for somebody on. else to write that about you. I yeah. mean, I mean, I and that's I'm why she's like too. really big on meritocracy. Like yes. I see it working out it in is. her life. Like it's Today has to be better. So tell us more Like tomorrow has about to be better that. than today. So, it, you know, it's funny how, um, I, you know, I always, 99 is not 100. It was, it was a funny thing where, again, in my previous team, um, they used to have targets. And you would find people who the target was 100. And they'll do 96, 95. And I'm like, you know, it would be easier for me to accept if you did 80 or 70. But for you to get to the just there and then not push yourself just to give that little and they'll say but my shift was over i'm like how long would it take you to do the rest mm. so it was that consistent growth and i also had a boss that taught me the same thing i remember one of my very first appraisals early on in my career she rated me and i went no i've done this she's done that and she says well i don't disagree with you but if i rate you this way the way you want me to rate you how will you know that there's room for growth so i've also had leaders that have invested in me mm. in developing me so for me it's so important to develop the next generation right you must you know I, I it was it was so emotional on friday because i told my team i said look the things that you have said about me today i i only expect to hear them uh, when people die mm -hmm. and the reality of it was this was in an organization where a lot of the time i didn't actually feel liked mm -hmm. you know i wow. thought people were going to be throwing parties in the streets when i said i was leaving okay. but to, to hear for me you know people say nice things but the, the thing that touched me the most was everybody saying but see you saw me the way i didn't see myself and because of that you pushed me to be better and that is my objective because that's exactly what the leaders that I have learned from, that's what they did for me. They saw me and they would talk to me about me and I'd be like, mm. are you talking about me? Mm -hmm. And that drove me to want to rise to that occasion of how they saw me. So I've also had some very powerful um, leaders that I've also grown from and learned from. And you know, once you have that kind of experience, you have no excuse right, but to I pay it forward and to pass Absolutely. it on to the next generation. And you know generation. I think like for me, one of those leaders, you talked about people who saw you for mm -hmm. the real you and they just wanted to like bring out that person. Yeah. Or what happens with one of those people in my life? <laughs> then another person I wanted to highlight is RDJ. Like mm. RDJ rest just so. saw me. Mm. Yes, uh, rest is so. RDJ is such a darling. I miss him. I so miss all his contributions all of in us my life. diamonds in the rough. Yes, he, and he picked told me us, up yes. when um, I, I, I didn't even think I would ever make a good TV presenter or mm -hmm. uh, or I could speak good English or I could I could be worth anything or I could be paid um, um, as much as I'm getting paid now in film industry mm -hmm. you know but RDJ sort of just picked me up and told me like told me a lot of things that just I mean didn't make sense at the time I just yeah. thought you know what this man just talk I need to go like show is <laughs> over I need to go but a couple of years down the line I started realizing the, the impact he's making and the mindset mm -hmm. he was changing and all that contributed to the growth I'm experiencing today. Absolutely. So, um, yeah. Right, so, to, yeah. so today is still all conversation and I, I'd love um, to take it on when we come back from the break, the role of mentorship, you know, when it comes to leadership, because mm -hmm. I mean, if we hear what we've said now, you know, there's um, a huge in mentorship gap, yeah. you know, yeah. I think that we need to start filling up as young women mm. to the next generation. Absolutely. Yeah. So when we return from the break, we'll be discussing women in governance. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> 